Hello, this is Julie from CutterCrafter.com. I'd like to show you how I use a free font called Regal Split Monogram True Type Font in the Shortcuts sure A Lot software to create it a pretty project like this. This one is a vinyl version of the letter B from the split regal font and I customized it with a name and date for a wedding gift and I want to show you how to use that font in the Surecuts A Lot software. So we'll go to the version 4 of Surecuts A Lot and first you have to download the free font, unzip it then install it in your computer system fonts folder then you can open your software. We're going to click on the T on the left side and go to the drop down menu and type R and it'll take you to the R fonts. We're going to select Regal Split Monogram, click R mouse on the screen and type the letter you want to use in a capital letter. I've got my cap locks on so I'm going to type the letter F and it shows up in the split regal font. It's really nice. Click on the arrow in the upper left corner to select it and then you can resize it. I'm going to click on this cross over here and type in the window the width 10 to make it 10 inches wide and now I have the font the size I want it I can add whatever text I want in between the, the split area and at the bottom when I do this project I like to select a font that's similar to the shape of this F. You don't have to. You can use any font you like, but um, you can, if you can find the font that you like, you can click on this T again and go to the, that font. I would like to use Caslon, so I type a C, and there it is, Caslon BDBT. So once I have that selected, I'm going to click on it on the screen over here away from the original font and now I'm going to type the text that I want to put in that split area so I'll just type in name and that's not really the font that I want but if I select the font and select the text then it will change that text on the screen. So I've got the the font that I want. I'm going to overlap the top of those letters slightly on that bar right above the letters and drag the text so that the letter on the end lines up with the end of the bar. Same with the beginning letters lining up with the beginning of the bar. Then I'm going to drag this down so that the letters slightly overlap the bottom bar. I find this is easier to work with if I weld all this together. I can weed it easier. Now I want to add some more text at the bottom. And I'm going to use the same font. Now you can change it up if you like. You can put it in a different color. Um, I like doing it this way. It's simple. And I'm just going to put in a date. Established. So EST abbreviation for established. And the date. This will be for an anniversary gift. And then I can resize it. Line it up. and make sure it looks the way I want it to look. Once I do, then I'm going to select it all 
just drag my mouse around it or control A for all and go to path at the top and select union. This is going to weld it all together. Just to make sure I'll go to the view menu and show in outlines and make sure all the overlapping lines are no longer there and it looks good so I'll go back to the black one. You can make it any color you want but I like to inspect all the lines to make sure they look good. And once they're the way I want them I can go to file and save the project and I can save it as a SCUT file or I can um, export it as an SVG file. It depends on how you're going to use it as to if you're going to use it in a supported cutter and sure cuts a lot then you can just cut directly to your cutter or if you want to export it as an SVG you can use it in other software and you will pick the compatibility of the other. So if you want design space, you click on design space and OK. If you want to use it in shortcuts a lot, I mean, if you want to use it in um, scan and cut, you're going to use the 96 DPI, or you would go to file and export as FCM for scan and cut. So once you get it saved, then you can unweld this if you like by using control Z so that maybe you could use this for a different name. I'm just going to use control Z and get rid of the the specific name and date and then you can save this as the F monogram and use it again for another project. So save project as and we'll just call it F monogram for another time and it's already all set up. So once you get your design all cut you can go over to cuttercrafter.com and you can look at the tutorial that I posted on on the steps to get your cut design onto a tile. Hope this helped. Thanks for watching. Bye.